Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. Most of the people go to a gun range to shoot their guns, work out a few skills, perhaps do a couple function checks, pack up their stuff, and leave. But there are other people that show up at the gun range that are annoying and they make you regret that you went to that range on that day to begin with. And we've all seen them, but that's what I'm going to talk about. Five guys that you're going to see, that you could see, at the gun range. The first one is the tactical tough guy. The tactical tough guy is the person that's going to talk down to everybody else. They take the authoritative position. They speak in absolutes and they say something like, why did you get that? You pay another 50 bucks, you could get a clock. You didn't know that? Or they're, they're, they're going to interrupt a, a sales at the counter and say, you know, this, this other one's way better. Don't buy it. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I know what I'm talking about. You know, that's the tactical tough guy. They always want to be in charge. They may pretend to be a ballistics expert. They, they give you the impression that they know what they're talking about. Meanwhile, they're a professional video watcher. They really go there with the expectation that they are there to teach everybody everything they know. Very condescending. Very arrogant. Next is the show-off. The show-off is the one who has a very nice gun, but needs to make sure everybody in that range knows that it is he who has that gun and why they got that gun and why nobody else has it. Say, you know what? I'm Bobby, and Bobby gets the best. So I was thinking to myself, Bobby, as they speak in third person, what is the best that nobody else has? That's right. <laughs> Bobby got the shadow too because the, the very few people have this gun, okay, because it's very expensive. It's the best shooting gun out there. Ask anybody, but nobody ever shot it. Very few people because, you know, Bobby didn't have it. And Bobby said, I want the best. And so Bobby got the best. The CZ Shadow 2 goes over $1,000. But, you know, Bobby said he needs the best, and that's what Bobby got. You should see what else I have in my range bag. If I showed you half the stuff I have, you would be, like, so blown away. <laughs> that's the, the show-off. Next is the Mag Dumper. Now, the Mag Dumper has a full auto fantasy. They're probably a video gamer. They feel like they're in combat because they're a video gamer, or they, they don't have full auto, so they have to pretend that they're full auto, either that or their their sole purpose is to pretend they're in combat and <laughs> drives everybody crazy, gets people jumping, wondering what's going on. The, the range officers are all upset, but yet the mag dumper is blowing through 500 rounds of ammo in 15 minutes. And if you look at the target, most of which didn't even hit the paper that's seven yards away because they're dumping so fast, the gun's jumping around, they're not even hitting the target. This is the type of people that these are that you don't want to be around in a shooting situation because they may make contact with the bad guy, but they're going to hit that person and that person and that person and that person because their means of self-defense is to mag dump on somebody probably the worst idea that I could think of. Next are the couples. The couples, I, I actually like couples at the range. I think it's kind of cute to see a little couple. They can, we're going to go have a date night at the range. <laughs> but it's, it's kind of funny in a way. Public display of affection is annoying. I don't care who you are. It's very annoying. But when, when they're actually working on things, either that or the, the, the ladies off the side going, are we done yet? I'm starving. But you may see something like, you know, <laughs> this gun's kind of cute, but do you want to see Big Daddy shoot this gun, baby? Oh, Big Daddy shoot this gun, watch. Meanwhile, she outshoots him. Or th things like that. Everybody appreciates couples getting involved in firearms, ammo, gear, self-defense. That's all good stuff. But it's that public display of affection, you know, that somebody's shooting. Ooh, Gucci Goo! <laughs> it, 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 it takes it to a whole new level. Avoid that. Enjoy your guns, shoot your guns, and then pack up your stuff and go just like everybody else. Next and the last one is something that you and I both have done. We're the new gun excited guy. We just picked up a gun. 
maybe the range has a store next to it. You pick it up, you go right into the range, you shoot it, and then you have to let everybody there know that that's your new gun, why you got it. Hey, man, I got the Walther PDP. You know why I got this? Because I checked out all these other ones. I checked out that one over there. I checked out the one that you're shooting. I checked these other ones out, but the Walther PDP was the one for me, man. It's priced right. It's got all the features I want. They're just so excited. Now, from what I have found, and I mean this in a big way, people enjoy what they have. So if they have a PDP, whatever, that is the best gun out there. It's the best carry gun, it's the best range gun, it's the best home defense gun because they own it. We need to avoid that because there again, that, that kind of takes us into the tactical tough guy or the show off phase where we say, because I have it, it's the best. Not always so. It may be great for you, but not so great for somebody else. So those are the five types of people that you could meet at the gun range. And I'm sure there are many more. Once I get the comments, I envision myself doing a part two of this video because there are just so many directions you could go with this topic. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.